absolute delight to welcome Tracy West up onto our stage. She's the tournament director here at the Valspar Championship. And Tracy, you've been at this for a long time. You have the distinction of being one of the top tournament directors of all PGA Tour events, and yet you manage multiple ones at that. In regards to this one here at the Valspar Championship, in your mind, what do you think makes it so special? Well, I think for us, it's the community that's behind this. Um, so we have a very storied history since 1977 of having professional golf in the Tampa Bay region. And this community gets behind this event. They come out in a major way from not only our sponsorships, uh, both locally, regionally, nationally, uh, but the number of fans that come out. And then for us, it's all about Valspar and their vision. Yeah. Um, when they became title sponsor in 2014, they really brought kind of a new vibe uh, to the event. Our tagline is the most colorful PGA Tour tournament in the world, and they <laughs> certainly live up to that. So everything we do has a thought process of how do we do something different and bring color and be a happening in the community more than just a professional golf tournament. Well, let's, go let's go down the road of that recipe for a second, because there are various elements as to why it all connects. One is the, the region that you're in, that to, to, to generalize it as Tampa Bay, it, it, it includes the city of Tampa, but mm -hmm. the entire region. This region has, obviously a lot of tourists are gonna come in this time of year. What, what, where better to be than in this part of Florida in March? Uh, but it's the people that live here full time, it's the passion that they have, it's the way that they're connecting with your ticket sales. Uh, I, we, I can remember being here with my wife when, when Tiger was in his stretch trying to chase down Paul Casey and seeing these, these incredibly enthusiastic, rabid fans. How is it, why is it, do you think, that you've been able to connect so much with the fan base that they support it the way they do? Yeah, I think really because we try and make the event a happening. So when you're coming out here, it's the, it's, it's the food, it's the the exhibits and things that we build. It's the really neat um, shot spots uh, is what Valspar calls them. So they basically have interesting things throughout the golf course that you can take pictures with. And, and it, it's it's that whole social dynamic and taking selfies and, and the fun things. It's adding the concert that we did then started. We were one of the first PGA Tour events that started a concert series. Uh, so really just trying to make sure like, hey, you're gonna come out, you're gonna see the world's finest professional golfers. But at the same time, you're going to be with all the people you know from the community and and really just enjoy the day. From, to that point, when we talk about, again, the community, the community has different levels that they can connect with the Valspar Championship. Obviously, you can buy a gate pass and come out, enjoy yourself on the grounds and make a day of it, a, a festival of golf, if you please. Mm -hmm. But for people that want an enhanced experience, whether for them, their company, their clients, you have all kinds of other options as well that are available. And that's something that's visual. You can see it when you're here and you see the grandstands and the, and the chalets. Could you talk to us about how that's working and, and how that's connecting? Yeah, absolutely. We want to make sure that every company has some sort of level that they feel comfortable with making an investment and bringing their clients out and so forth. So we've got different packages where people, clients can have their own chalet for a day. Hmm. or they can buy it for the week, or they can buy shared hospitality. We created last year after uh, COVID and so forth, we created a special ticket called the Snake Pit Hopper Ticket. And certainly our three final holes are nicknamed the Snake Pit um, here at uh, Innisbrook and on the Copperhead. So it's a ticket where you can go to a venue on the 16th green, the 17th green, the 18th green, and you can hop around. Uh, we've got our famous Hooters Owl's Nest, um, <laughs> you know, which which is on our 12th and green and 13th tee. Uh, all you can drink beer, wings, uh, and our great partner in, in Hooters. So lots of different types of of ways people can get involved. Very cool. Now, also part of this recipe is the course itself. The Copperhead course is arguably, uh, in, and oftentimes attested to by, by the players themselves, as the best course of the Florida swing. Mm -hmm. How is it that you've partnered with a golf course that's so distinctive and so well respected? Yeah, we're really blessed to have this tournament at Innisbrook. Um, you know, they're, they're a great host venue. And as you said, the Copperhead design, Larry Packard, you know, designed the course and it is a challenge. But I think what the players like about it is it's straightforward. You know, there's no tricky holes, no, you know, um, it's just laid out right in front of you. And it really, you can look at our past champions and see the different types of players that can win here. Mm. It's, it's, you know, you've got to be able to move the ball left, right. Placement is key on this course. It's not just a bomber. 
you know, that, that can do well on this course. So uh, I think they enjoy that sort of challenge. And uh, also, as you said, it's not a typical Florida course. You know, I always tease people that you can come be dropped in here by a helicopter with a blindfold on, be told, open your eyes and, you're, and say, what state are you in? And most people will say, oh, North Carolina. Right. I mean, there's not the palm trees and all that sort of right. thing. This is a very unique property. Plus uh, the in changes in elevation, the topography mm -hmm. is so unique being this close to the Gulf. And I guess the, the last question, you, you already touched on this, but, but it, it serves to, to reiterate. To have a title sponsor that has a vision, a shared vision, an understanding, understands the local marketplace as well as the national impact or else they wouldn't align themselves with the PGA Tour. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's really unique today, and it's not easy to do. And I'm, I'm curious about what it was, what were the building blocks that enabled you guys to find such a perfect partner? Yeah, it, it, they are a wonderful partner, no question. Valspar is a paint brand. Um, when they took over the tournament in 2014, they were a standalone company, um, and then they were absorbed um, and, uh, and acquired by Sherwin-Williams, so now they're a paint brand within Sherwin-Williams. But right away, this is not their hometown. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they were Minneapolis based, but they saw the beauty of being involved with the PGA Tour. They recognized the fact of what a better place to bring their clients than Florida, sure. Tampa in March. Um, you know, so they recognized cool. the fact that they didn't need to be this didn't need to be in their hometown. Um, and they've really embraced it. Uh, they've continued to grow how many people uh, that they bring in from their client perspective. They get their suppliers involved now. So there's a big supplier program. They've got over 40 companies throughout um, North America and um, uh, Korea internationally that come and bring clients here now. So That's they've wonderful. really embraced it as a corporation. Uh, for more information, whether it be for tickets or for hospitality packages or any other information that someone might be seeking in the Valspar Championship, because I know we're gonna get into some of those details in just a little bit. Where's the best place to send people? Yeah, easy, super easy, valsparchampionship.com. Valsparchampionship.com. Tracy, thank you for everything that you and your team have done to bring this event of this stature to the Tampa Bay area from the PJ Tours. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you, Maddie.